Hey guys, yay! I am so excited about today's training. Today I want to show you how to make a animated YouTube intro uh, using Canva. Now I know how we love to see these uh, like video intros, like people talk a little bit and then this like video intro slides in with a little bit of music and then the rest of the content comes in, right? Decided and it makes your channel or your videos really more professional. You can also use these intros if you're doing live streaming on uh, like Facebook or Instagram or something like that. And especially if you're using StreamYard. So you can use this intro that we're going to create using Canva on that platform as well. All right. So if you're excited, I'm excited. All right. So let's get started. <laughs> that um, animated video intro that we're going to create. So I'm gonna, let's, I'm gonna play it so that you guys can get an idea of what we're going to create. And then I'm gonna show you step by step, okay? So that's hit play. And I'm not sure if you can hear the music. I hope you can. <laughs> All right, so that is what we are going to create. If you didn't hear the music, I think you could hear the music. But uh, let's hide this down here. Okay, so that is exactly what we're going to create today. And I'm really excited to share that with you and how you are going to be able to use this in your videos as well. Okay, all right. So we're going to start by going into Canva. So this is the page that you are more, probably more familiar with. I'm creating, I am going to do, yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. <laughs> All right, so you go into Canva. Oh, before we get started, I just wanna remind you that this, I am using Canva Pro. Now, uh, some of the things that I'm going to add, like the music, I think some of the music choices are only available for the pro account. So I like to tell my clients and my club members that just go ahead and invest in Canva Pro because there are so many awesome features with the paid version that you're going to use throughout your whole like professional coaching and branding um, business life. So it's really inexpensive. Uh, if you do the yearly plan, it's even worth it even more. All right. So I'm just letting you know, I am using the pro version. All right. So you're going to the search and you're going to search for YouTube thumbnail. So we're going to do YouTube thumbnail. And I just double clicked that really fast. So, <laughs> uh, and it gave me a template. And I am just going to delete it. I'm going to delete this template all together. So I'm going to delete all of this stuff. I should have just started with a, a blank one. Let's do it. Add a new page. And then we'll have a blank one. And I can just start with it. Okay. And so the first thing that I like to do is choose my brand colors. And so with that, I am going to go with background. And I am going to choose my brand color. So this is my brand color. It's like a bluish color. Um, if, if you choose this, uh, this is probably one of the gradient choices that I've done. You can go up here and change it. I also use a gold-like color, uh, but I like the blue one better. Okay, so we're going to start with blue. And then as you remember from the example, let's see, can I pull it up? I have a photo of myself. And I like to use a um, an intro that's really simple. It's not complicated. It doesn't because people really look at these and start to like read it and want to see everything is on the video intro. And you don't want that. You don't want because you just don't want that. It's just too much going on. So let's make this simple. And so I am going to insert my picture. So let's choose an element. And I'm going to choose a round frame. I'm going to do that. Then I'm gonna go into my folders. And there is a folder with just pictures of myself. I'm gonna turn the fan on. So if you guys hear the fan, that's what's going on. And so I'm gonna drop this picture in here. I'm going to move it around just a tad. There we are. And then we're gonna start with the text. So I, here's what I also love about this: these new features that Canva are adding. In. They already have predetermined like text combo 
combinations. And I am like loving these. This makes life so easy. So if you want to use some of these, uh, I would say go ahead. I'm going to use this Hello Darling. And I'm going to add that. And as you see, guys, this is a pro um, feature. So if you don't have pro, you won't be able to get this. I think I did that twice. Let's see, can I delete one? Nope. Hold on. Let me delete that one too. Here we go. And that hello, I'm going to go ahead and ungroup this. It's not in the right color for me. So I'm going to go ahead and make that gold. Let me see what that looks like as a gold color. Oh, I think I'm okay with that. I might change it. I'm going to put my name. I might change that. Um, I like my letters to be a little tighter. Yep. And then we're going to put Michelle in this one. Might not be liking this as much as I thought, but it's going to work. You know what? I think I'm going to do both in that same font. What font is this? That's humble hearts. So here it is. And then I'm going to take, I don't want all capital letters. So I need to, I hope I need to retype that. Oh, it is in all caps. Let's do this. This makes it a lot easier. I'm just going to delete this and then I'm going to copy and paste this one. So you guys are getting the real, real here. And I think I'm going to change that color to white. And I'm going to change this one to white. I like this neon. Like I'm feeling this neon look. I might even change mine. And I think I want to make my name bigger. And then I want to make Elite Michelle smaller. And I like things to just sort of fit together. Now, this is not going to be absolutely perfect, guys. But you guys get the idea. I don't want I don't want y'all to sit here with me as I figure all this out. Like and like, cause this could take me a little while. But I'm going to do this. But I'm going to give you the basics of everything today. And so I'm going to put that here. Yep, I think I like that. I like that. We're good. And then I'm going to select it all so I can group it so I can move it around like I want to. All right. So the next thing is that I want a little bling. I want some blinging going on. So I am going to go back to elements and I'm going to scroll down to stickers. And then I'm going to type right beside stickers. I'm going to type in sparkle. And as you can see, I probably I've used this a lot sparkles let's see oh i am liking this that might be a lot right now so let's see let's make that a little smaller some of you guys might might like a little bit more bling than me that might be too blingy let's see this one i think this one works better yep i'm gonna put this here over here, I'm going to make that a tad bit smaller. And then I'm going to copy that. Then I'm going to paste it. The other one over here. All right, so we've got that animation. And then I want to also put in subscribe. So when people see my intro, did I spell that right? I might have. Let me see. I might not have. Let's see. There was a lot more subscribe opportunities. That might be better, right? There it is. I just misspelled it. <laughs> so you got all these subscribe opportunities. And I think the one that I like the best is this one. So I'm going to size this down. And you don't have to put the subscribe if you don't want to. It's just up to you. I think I'm going to put that right there, right? Now, the, what 
the magic happens is when you add animation, right? So there is also this new feature called animate. And I am going to click over here to animate. And I'm going to go through some of these so you guys can see an idea, right? So you've got the block. You've got the breathe, right? You've got the fade. you got the pan. I see a lot of people use the, the scrapbook. Okay, so you can use that. You can use the pop. Uh, let's see what tech means. Uh, I don't like that one. Let's see what drip, drift, stump. Oh, that's a lot. I use in the example that I just showed you, I use the breathe because I like that. Now, you also can increase how long this actually animates. So right now it's at five seconds. Uh, I'm going to increase it to about eight. And the reason why I do that, the way I like to make it a little longer, is because uh, I bring it into another platform like uh, InShot. Because, you know, if you do this on your phone, you can download this video on this animated video to your phone and then you can go into InShot and do a little bit more editing you can cut it out so i would rather have it to be longer than shorter okay let's see what we got so far so let's go up here to the top and hit play and this is what we have so far okay you see the sparkles you see it breathe you see the the animation of the subscribe so a lot of little visual elements are happening just to grab your um your viewers attention okay so we're going to close that the next thing that i want to add is music yes canva allows you to add some music so let's add some music and again i'm assuming i don't know because i've had the pro version for a very long time that music might be just a pro thing if it's not let me know in the, in the comments that if you have a free account that you can also add music if you have free account as well so I'm going to add some music and I am going to go down here to some trap music. Let's see what they got. Uh, let's see what of her sounds like. Oh, I didn't mean to add it. I just wanted to hear it. Uh, and you can also, you know, start a clip at different er um, areas of the music. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Uh, and I'm not liking that. So that's, that's, you can delete that. But I thought I liked Hushed. Yeah, that's the one that I use. So what I would do is, let me stop it. I'm going to drag it into my presentation. And as you can see, you've got the music bar at the top. Okay. And you can start the music at different points in the whole clip of music because this whole clip of music is two minutes and 20 seconds but i'm just going to use just this part right here okay and then let's hit stop and then let's hit play now now you have a animated a youtube animated intro with some music is that not awesome like i love that so then after you've decided if this is okay with you you like you know the animation you like the music you like the sparkles what's going on then all you have to do is download it as a mp4 video okay so let's download it as it is doing that guys that's the reason why i love canva canva does some awesome things you know back in the day we would have to use a video editing software you would have to use a graphic design software you had to use all of these different things to actually be able to create something like this but now canva makes it so simple and if you decide to upgrade if you have the free account and you want to upgrade to the paid account i think the paid account you can do i think it's 12 something a month or you can pay the yearly amount and the yearly amount you know i don't don't even know i can't even remember what the price is i should know that right <laughs> but it is such a great investment and i strongly strongly suggest that you uh invest in this because it's a game changer for your business all right so it looks like it's downloaded so let's get back to it now the file has downloaded and you can open it up i should have renamed it but i didn't that's okay 
and that is your video intro right there now you can use this in all of your uh, video uh, as a video intro for your live streaming for your youtube i mean it's just absolutely awesome of all the different things that you can do with this intro. awesome so i hope that was a great training for you on how to make a animated youtube video intro for your videos both on youtube and for your live streaming all right you guys have an awesome and blessed day talk to you later peace out